Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, brothers and sisters. Let's clear, get this clear out of my, my screen. <laughs> um, how y'all doing? This is Asosa once again, Truth Over Lies Daily. Um, man, the questions are rolling in. Definitely appreciate it. Um, still at 55 pages. I'm trying to mix in some old questions with some new questions and I'm not making a dent <laughs> because there's a lot of new questions. Uh, a lot of new questions coming in, but I definitely appreciate it, man. I love researching the scriptures. I love seeing what people um, are thinking about and and just digging into the word to find answers. Um, so just wanted to, to cover this question real quick. It says, I heard someone say that it's impossible to identify a Hebrew based on skin color because they have been scattered to every nation. Therefore, over thousands of years, their descendants would be mixed with all races. The results would be Hebrews that would look black, white, Asian, Indian, Hispanic, etc. Okay, um, so I mean that's partially true. There's a lot of a lot of mixture in genetics. I mean that's obvious. <laughs> um, if you were, every time people mix, there's there's cross marriages, there's rape, there's all types of stuff that goes on. Um, but the answer. Um, you can you can you can identify Hebrews by a lot of different things: um, history, language, genetics, phenotypes. You know, if you do enough research, you can you can definitely dig into all that. I don't really dig too deep into to to that type of stuff. Um, some of the history I do, a little bit of language. I don't really get too deep into genetics and phenotypes and things like that because, like I said, those things those things are can change. Um, but. Uh, it's really not a good idea to try to identify based on skin alone. Well, the main thing that I try to, to research, because I love the scriptures, is I try to research scriptures, man. And I really, um, I dig into Bible prophecy. Um, ever since uh, God opened my eyes on this subject, uh, I dig into Bible prophecy. Um, so the primary way to identify a Hebrew is through scripture. Um, so you really can't say that it's impossible to identify a Hebrew if you can, if you understand Bible prophecy. Um, and just to, just to go through it a little bit, um, Romans eleven twenty five says, uh, in eleven twenty six it says, all Israel shall be saved. So why would why would there be a prophecy of a people group being saved if it's impossible to identify them? So that doesn't make sense right there. So obviously it is going to be possible to identify them. Isaiah 11, 11, it's the same, uh, same concept. He said he will get, set his hand again the second time to recover the remnant of his people. So if God said he's going to recover the remnant of his people, that means there's, there's going to be a remnant left of the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. Another scripture. Um, Zephaniah three ten it says from the beyond the rivers of Ethiopia, my worshippers supplants means worshipper, even the daughter of my dispersed shall bring my offering. So you can notice right there that it says the dispersed of Israel were going to come from beyond the rivers of Ethiopia. The beyond the rivers of Ethiopia basically means West Africa, Central Africa, and South Africa, where you see the quote unquote Bantu tribes. Uh, which is basically um, when the Israelites lost their heritage and they started to spread different languages, all descended from the Bantu language, which was the Hebrew language. And so you can research that, but that's uh, that's scriptural and it's historical. Um, the reason why it's difficult to identify Hebrews today is because they've been sold, scattered, spiritually blinded, and removed from their heritage. So we just read a couple of scriptures about them being scattered and dispersed. Now let's look at Jeremiah 17, 4. It says, you, even yourself, shall discontinue from your heritage that I gave thee, and I will cause you to serve your enemies in the land which you know is not, for you have kindled a fire in my anger, which shall burn forever. So that's another scriptural prophecy. Um, once, so if you see, you know, a, a group of people that were scattered from scattered, dispersed, discontinued from their heritage, they don't have a heritage, or they constantly have their heritage stolen from them, they don't, you know, as a people, they're constantly um, put in these situations, then they're more than likely, they're the people that the prophecy is talking about, because Bible prophecy is very specific and it's not general. Um, 
So you can also go to Deuteronomy 2868. Um, it says, the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. It continues to say, there, she, there you shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen, and no man shall buy you or aka redeem you. Okay, Joel 3, 6, it says, the children also of Judah and the children of this Jerusalem have you sold unto the Grecians, or aka the Europeans that you might remove them far from their border. So if you look at basically history and scripture, you can say who's known, who's known for being sold, who's known for being dispersed, who's known for not having a heritage, okay? Um, there's only two ethnicities in the Bible that God promised would be scattered and dispersed. One was Israel, the other one was Egypt. And then in Ezekiel 29, 11, verse six through 16, it said that the Egyptian scattering would end in 40 years. So, and if you look in other prophecies, it said the, the scattering of Israel would go on uh, continually until the return of the Lord. So, I mean, it's just one plus one equals two, you know, when you get to, when you study Bible prophecy, and you look at history and you look at um, the language and you put everything together, you can kind of see the picture. Um, I guess you can kind of... <laughs> Uh, another question kind of people ask, well, if, if uh, you say that, you know, the Hebrews are quote unquote Negroes or Bantus, then who are the, the Jewish people? Um, scripture, scripture, every, <laughs> scripture kind of confirms everything, but there's other, inf source, there's other resources of information that you can look and find this information. But um, if you look at the scriptures, um, it shows that Ashkenazi, Ashkenazi Jewish are Gentile converts. If you look at Genesis 10, you see Ashkenaz listed right there. And there's language and genetic um, research that shows that as well. Also, you, you see a scripture in Obadiah 120 that talks about the Sephardic. And it actually shows that the Sephardic Jewish were converts from the Judean captivity in the land called Sepharad, Obadiah 120 says the captivity of Jerusalem, which is in Sepharad, shall possess the cities of the south. So right there you have in scripture, you, have, you see the root of the Ashkenazis, um, they're Gentile, European, and you also see the root of the Sephardic, um, which are come from an area of Iran, and they actually, um, the Jews were captive in Sepharad, and then obviously some mixture came and some converts um, the Sephardic Jews were a result of the converts from that time period. So, uh, but the overall gospel of the kingdom basically is definitely that, you know, through belief in Jesus Christ, you can be saved. So whether you're a bloodline Jew, whether you're Hebrew, whether you're Gentile, whether you're European, you know, we all come the same way. And that's really the whole, the whole purpose of the scattering of Israel is to show that um, the salvation can only come through God himself. You know, your bloodline can't save you. You know, um, your history can't save you. And that's the whole point of understanding um, prophetic history. And when you really get the picture, you'll understand that God is to be feared. God is to be obeyed. <laughs> He's not a game. Um, and actually, that's part of the prophecies, too, uh, You'll see in the scripture, especially in Ezekiel, it said that when the world realizes what God did to his people, they're going to fear and it's going to cause a great revival and a great returning to him. So um, the good news is that everyone can be saved by faith um, and obedience to the gospel. Um, more good news is a lot of people that are of the scattered tribes of Israel are awakening um, at this moment right now. And that's nothing but more good news because scripture actually connects the awakening of the scattered tribes of Israel to a great revival and a great um, turning uh, back to him. So um, if you're interested in more information um, on this, on this topic, uh, you can definitely message me. I did a whole teaching series called Who's Who? Uh, Understanding Prophetic Scripture been doing it for a few years now and if you're interested just message me let me know other than that thanks for tuning in to truth over lies daily talk to you soon peace